Welcome back to New Plays U.S. GeoGuessr. Um, this is the third or fourth episode uh, that I have recorded today. It'll probably be the last one of the day. Hopefully I can get all of these uploaded. But this is episode now 13 because I lost a bunch. So let's see if I can get two, maybe three rounds in. I have I had a couple rough rounds in the last video. So let's get started and see if we can't figure, you know, get get a little bit better off than than we were. Um, this is going to be New York. These are New York plates, um, on the cars back here. So, uh, a twisty, windy road like this, um, that's kind of artistic. Well, let me take a look. This road is in pretty good shape. So, I'm almost tempted to say this is downstate this is down by the city perhaps um just has that kind of vibe i think so i'm gonna guess somewhere way down here and sure enough it was so off to a good start for this round at least Oh, is this a broken location? I think this is a broken location. So for broken locations, I'm going in, you know, I'm going to go in Kansas City. So it's just kind of central to U.S. Kansas City, it's a broken location, whatever. McKee something rocks. It's a very unique bridge back there, especially to go over railroad. Um, we do have some hills back in that area. See a bit of a taller building there, perhaps maybe something up on a hill. But yeah, I don't really have a, a good a good feel for this location. Um I'm I'm gonna guess just based on the hills and stuff, I'm going to guess somewhere um, somewhere kind of in this area, down in the Ozarks. Nope, it was in Pittsburgh. Not the greatest location to look at there. So I've got a back plate. I'm going to see if I can see any front plates. Oh, police. Seminole. Well... I'm pretty sure that says police seminal, which would normally have me thinking Florida, but this don't look like no Florida. <laughs> Cannot make out that plate. This looks like a Michigan plate. That might be an Oklahoma plate. Pretty straight. I, I think this is an older Michigan plate. Um, and it's the only one I've really got a good look at. I think this might be an Illinois plate. So I'm going to guess that we're somewhere in this area. Was it, okay, it was Oklahoma. I, I did see what I thought might be an Oklahoma plate, but it was too hard to tell. Um, all right. Uh, look around, look around. We've got front plates. We've got lots of front plates. So that's a good start. I think this is South Dakota. This is a South Dakota plate, I think, because it's Mount Rushmore with the blue sky. I think I think this is uh, South Dakota, and it says Northwest Bank. Um, it is fairly flat, so I'm inclined to think it's Eastern South Dakota. And we're looking for Phelps Ave and I don't know what street we're on here because I can't see any street signs. So I'm going to do a quick scan. 
This looks like a pretty major thoroughfare. It looks like we got some car dealerships and a caliber. So I'm going to look in South Dakota in probably something like Sioux Falls. And uh, we are going east-west. So I'm looking for some sort of east-west uh, two-way road. Um, and like not actually divide, I don't know, whatever. Um, and I'm going to look, we are driving east. So, uh, scan. Yeah, I basically was like, pretty sure we're in in South Dakota. <sighs> gonna be a larger city. Gonna be on some road that runs east west. There's not that many large cities. Sit large cities in South Dakota. You've got Sioux Falls, and um, that's about it. So. Yeah, I'm just going to guess somewhere could be anywhere along here, but could be even out as far as here. So I'm just going to guess here. And then it was Rockford, Illinois. Interesting. Okay, so maybe that was the Illinois plate that I was looking at and not South Dakota. I got to brush up on my plates again. It's been a while. Well, by a while, I mean two weeks. All right. Took oof 10,000 points. Not good. Not good, I tell you. All right. Hill Trace. It's not a state flag there. No front plate on the car. Possibly Ohio plate there. Not much to go on at all, so... I th I'm thinking Ohio plate, and I'm going to think we're somewhere down here because it's kind of hilly. Okay, it was Alabama. I don't remember what Alabama's plates look like. All right, let's see. Um, Cannot make out front plates. So we're in a no front plate. Ah, I think this is Arkansas. Uh, and I think it says South 41 maybe. Pretty, but this is, I believe this is the shape of Arkansas. Yes, it is. See if I can find a 40, could, could it be 49, 44, I don't, I don't know. So going to scan Arkansas, I see 49 here. And I know we're headed south. Um, first number on that was definitely a four. So whatever, I don't know how they do in-state numbering in Arkansas. But 49 looks like a fairly large, and it looks like we're headed southwest. So I'm going to guess we're somewhere along here. We are the opposite side of the state. And there is a 41 over there. All right. I think that's I think that's a front plate that I see there. This is like an airport of some sort here. All right, so I'm gonna say we're in the Midwest just by. Um, I mean we've got a, almost a due north south road running next to an airport, but it curves away from the airport. Well, let's see. Very small airport. This is that's not much to go on. I don't even have a license plate to go on unless that has one. So I'm guessing Midwest requires license plate. So it's gonna be Nebraska, North Dakota, South Dakota, because it looks so flat here. Kansas, I don't think requires them. So I'll just kind of split the difference and go in Nebraska. All right. And it was Nebraska. All right. 
Big enough city that I should be able to... 14th Street and F Street. East Village. Oh, Evolving San Diego. Okay, so we're in San Diego. We're in the East Village near some sort of... I don't know what that is, but... Uh, San Diego, looking for the East Village. I see Village Greens over here. Yeah, I'm just going to, in the interest of time, I'm just going to guess somewhere over in this area. All right. It was on the west side of San Diego. Well, I guess east side of downtown San Diego. Well, I'll know that next time. All right. What do we have here? We've got a front plate state. I think, yes, it is. That's a very yellow front plate. So front plate state. Um, kind of nondescript otherwise. Let's see if I can license plate guess this. Oh, um, I think the blue on the top, the yellow lettering, I think is Nebraska. So I'm going to guess we're in Nebraska. Nope, it was Maryland. Well, uh, no, Virginia, Maryland, Maryland, Virginia. One of the two. Maybe very northern Virginia. Okay, I'm willing to be wrong on that. Uh, 15,000, a lot better than last time, but still not that impressive. One last round. Yep, this is, um, we do have sandy soil here, kind of sandy gravelish, but so much vegetation. This has me thinking somewhere in the southeast. I'm going to see if I can see any sort of palm trees or anything that would tell me how far south it is, um, but I don't, so I'm just going to kind of zoom in and plonk something in the south general southeast and it was actually michigan so well some you win some you lose some oh oh man spun that around a little too quick interesting road here you don't see a lot of this where you'll have a dash line and no outside lines um sandy air soil i mean don't tell me we're in michigan again because that's where I'm leaning right now after that last one. Now, that may be confirmation bias, but um, I mean, yeah, I can't think of much this could be. And I have very few clues to go on. I mean, it looks like livestock, maybe sheep. I don't know if there's a state that's particularly known for sheep. But uh, generally, you do see, I would say you do see livestock farming further north than you see. Nope, that was Louisiana. Forget it. I'm wrong. Don't listen to me. I have no idea. Oh, look, it's all corn. It must be Kansas, right? Well, I mean, it could be. Um, could also be upstate New York or anywhere along the 90 from about Buffalo West out across the Midwest. <laughs> okay okay so this is <laughs> this is a bit of a meta thing but it's going to be very very real and it's going to help you it may help you if you see this it will help you uh, okay so what's happened here 
this sign that's knocked over, it was probably hit by a snowplow. Um, and a large snowplow. Um, I can't tell you the number of times growing up in the Northeast, I saw signs that were just knocked like this because of snowplows. So <laughs> if you see a sign that's kind of like bent over like this, uh, there's a really good chance it's somewhere that gets a pretty significant amount of snow. So with that in mind, I'm going to go like, I'm going to go very much in this area. Okay, it was outside of Indianapolis, but yeah, the the snowplow sign is is a thing that you will you will see. Okay, um, we're going almost due north south. Uh, boy, this is a really this is a tough one. Um, just because you're kind of this early spring, it's like this um. These dead trees, you see, um, I'm inclined to think we're somewhere maybe a, again in this kind of, I don't even know what to call this area, but like Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, um, you know, somewhere like there. All right. And it was just in... Is that in Arkansas? I think you're just barely in Arkansas there. Okay. All right. This house to me says Northeast off the bat. Also these horrendously beat up driveways and sidewalks. Uh, this is obviously a freshly paved road, but with frost heaves that you get in the Northeast in the winter, but this style, this is like, I think this is maybe some sort of Cape potentially. Um, this could also be upper Midwest, but I, when you see these really old looking houses, especially like a foundation like this, um, really narrow, uh, this could be a, um, Connecticut plate. I don't know what that says. Leahy. Is that Jim Leahy? Damn. Uh, I wish I knew who that was because it's no front plate state, I would guess, too. Mm, yeah, does this the political sign where was the political sign that said Leahy I think that says Jim Leahy and I don't remember which state he's from I know he's made headlines I do not remember which state he's from I have no idea my brain's kind of shot right now, so I'm I'm just gonna pop down a guess. Lee Lee. He <sighs> I'm gonna look it up when I'm done and be like, oh right, but I could be Pat Lee he who's from Vermont, but this doesn't look like Vermont to me. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's near Boston. Okay. I'm do a quick Google here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I did definitely feel it was... Uh, Feel that it was New England. I will say that. That was a really bad round. Only 8,500 points. But I got to show them all. Well, I don't because I, I haven't been. That was that was bad. Just missed everything. Was heavily biased towards the Midwest. And uh, after, well, I guess three guesses were in that area. Well, until next time, keep guessing.